My water signs, my water signs, my babes with the ocean eyes. Water signs, my water signs. Alrighty, got a minor fire starting over here. Everything's under control. So, I'm already feeling the watery energy. I'm like, I'm Danica, and I'm going to be doing readings here on Moonwood Co. I've been invited by the host and creator of this website, and I'm very, very honored to be connecting with you through readings that are going to be going, ugh, to go the head and I'm very honored to be connecting with you through readings that are going to be coming out every month. So, all the elements are going to be covered, including the ruling sign of that month. So, for instance, we're going into June. It's the month of Gemini. So, there's going to be a detailed blog post accompanied by your brief reading for Gemini. There are also readings for all the fire, air, earth, and now water signs. So, if you are a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, woo, get ready, get ready. There's a lot of music with this group. There's a lot of music with your group. A lot of music. Ooh, you guys are going to make me read from all the decks that the other groups didn't get. Going to read from all the decks the other groups didn't get. The other groups didn't get. The other groups didn't get. Lovely. Oh my gosh. Ooh, making a mess. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, what I'm seeing is that... Wow, it's like a interesting. What is this energy? Okay, so some of our water signs here. Wow, this is weird. You always feel like you're making a mess, but you're really just getting it together. That's what I'm hearing. Get it together. You're getting it together, I'm hearing. Make it happen. And if you believe in yourself enough and know what you want, he's gonna make it happen. Make it happen. Ooh, yes, of course. I'm talking to my manifestation people here. Cancers and Pisces are knowing. They are they are knowing, they are knowing, as in they know, but they don't know why they know. Very intuitive, often empathic, clear cognizant, and master manifestors. You got the energy of the horse reversed. Are some of you feeling stuck? You don't realize your power. Just like the love we know. Mm -mm -mm. Na, 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 na. Who, baby, who? Ooh. And you got... Give me a second. Your reading is interesting. Is that it? Is that it? You got really good medicine cards. This is very, very exciting. So we're not going to stay in these for too long. These are just meant to represent your overall energy. Sorry, I didn't show the box. We are picking from the medicine cards by Jamie Sams and David Carson. My head's hurting. And I almost said my eyes hurting. Some of you, your third eye. Okay, you are fine-tuning your vision. So where you're at right now. You feel stuck. You're not trusting your intuition. You don't want to tap into much to that like brute knowing, just knowing not. And you don't know why you're like, no, I want to go off of facts. I want to be structured. I need to be organized. My dear water signs, that's not for everybody. Um, you may work in a different way. Now, you may have been criticized for working the way that you do, and you may have worried about it getting in between you and your money, but there are peaceful resolutions on the way. And reverse, there's truce written, but then also that looks like a number one, which you're going to see why it's important to you in a couple of seconds. I'm very excited about the card that you just got. So peaceful resolution. So if you've been struggling with anything internally i don't feel like you guys have been fighting with people externally but i think within if you've been like ah, i don't know peaceful resolutions are on the way 
Next is an energy of love for yourself. 33, the weasel. Noticing the remarkable, creative, ingenious, intuitive creature that you are. Trusting that intuition, using it for good. And honey, fine tune that eagle vision. That's why the number one was standing out, an eagle. So you guys, a number that you should look into is number one. If you see repeating ones or anything, it's a sign. It's an activation code. Eagle. So you are looking at things from a different and sharper perspective. But you may be wondering, tell me, tell me, tell me. We're gonna be picking from the romance angels because there's something. You're looking at things with eagle eye view and eagle eyes view. Oh, you're seeing things from above. Send from up above. So you're seeing things from above now. You're seeing the bigger picture. You've got a broader perspective, like a bird flying. I notice it's funny because eagles eat, like, you know, fish and stuff. And here we're talking about the sea creatures. You know, we've got fish and uh, crabs in this reading. Scorpions, we won't consider a sea creature. But for the fish and the crab, you are now... For the fish and the crab, you are now... Stepping into that seat of power, of understanding from above. So, an important energy to bring around yourself right now is playfulness. Okay? This says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Youthful, youthful. So don't be a shit. You know, earlier on I was saying I can't get organized over here. What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. That's okay. Sometimes you need the disorganization of a child to step in so that you can see things differently and you can appreciate things differently. And I'm not saying live in a pigsty and make a mess, but I'm just saying don't beat yourself up for the way that you are. Accept yourself. Love yourself the way you did when you were a child. Before anybody could plant the seed of doubt and self-loathing in your mind, go back to that in water signs. Okay? Uh, your next thing. Actually, you guys are going to get a spin on the runic wheel that you are the only signs getting that and are you ready where will it fall oh on hail hagas hail so that is disruption struggles transition crisis stormy emotions stormy weather so if that's true, if you guys are kind of in the midst of stormy emotions right now, how do we still get you aligned to be doing the undercurrent work to get where you want to go? Um, I saw the bottom card was you've been preparing for this for lifetimes. So you guys have been training to be exactly where you are. So if any of my water signs are going through very uncomfortable emotion right now, and if you're going through uncomfortable emotion for the month of June 2020, that is when this reading is geared towards month of June 2020. We want to understand how to deal with our energy, our psychic abilities, our dreams, our goals, our bodies and align them all to fit the scheme of our dreams. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do, water signs. The crumbling, what are you clinging to? So some of you may need to let go of something. Think about it, if you're going to soar like an eagle, you cannot have your hands or your wings full. You will go nowhere. Sorry, I'm looking at my bird. I think she's just living her best life in a branch on my pothos plant. My marble queen. Cute. That's beautiful. I love seeing my bird chill in the plants. And, oh, it's some of my little hair on the cheeks. Anyways, inner temple. Hmm, interesting. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. That is on the other side of the playfulness card. So actually, you guys are going to get a lot of answers through um, trying less to be like structured and rigid the way you think that society wants you to be and actually just being more playful, being as silly as you want to be. Um, 
within proper bounds of respecting others and everything. But still, get playful. You have the weasel card, you know? That's um, a very mischievous, playful energy. So for my water signs, what's a what's an energy to call into your life to get aligned? How do you make it to your inner temple? Okay, so first you need to release guilt. Okay, so if you feel guilty about not being where you think you should be in life or not doing what you think you should be doing by now, release that. Then you need to realize your connection to the whole world. Water, crystals, plants, animals, birds, the stars, the moon, clouds. It's all there to charge you, to fuel you, to remind you of how divine and gracefully loved you are. So never think that you're alone. Be already it cut a bit so connect to the fact that you are the world so the fact that it cut off would make me realize that sometimes you guys might feel a bit cut off from the world too strange to be a part of this world those are barriers that we create in our minds those are things that come to us based off of what people have said to us not something that you actually need to hang on to not something that you need to re um repeat to yourself especially not so if you're ready to move more into a place of loving yourself as you step closer to this inner temple that you do have dear pisces then you need to just release the self deprecating then you need to just release the self deprecating thoughts that you have and i'm just realizing a lot of cards are turned around in my deck so I'm putting them the right way. We are reading from the Fountain Tarot. It is a deck that I recently acquired. It's got very abstract imagery. Fountain Tarot. what the back of the cards look like very abstract energy so at the end of all that flipping and i'm feeling that this is really it you guys have all that money yeah actually you have all that money you have all that water to grow some green i'm just hearing you have all that money to grow money you have money to grow money so when you are in tune with the ebb and flow of life when you know how to manifest when you trust the universe when you realize your connected your connectedness to everything you will never see yourself as poor you'll never see yourself as an outcast you'll never see yourself as in the wrong so you need to connect with this king of coins energy Sit satisfied in who you are in your heart center because he's sitting in a green elevator type space or something. So sit very satisfied of who you are. You got 10 of wands reversed again. So typically 10 of wands shows a sort of completion of something um, of one cycle, but it opens up another cycle that you see is going to require so much effort and in fact this has to do with burnout due to responsibility so sometimes we are scared of our own goals because we know that they're going to exhaust us we know that it's going to keep us both hands busy juggling most of the time and on one hand it's good to know that it's going to be hard it's good to appreciate you know while you're building up to there and enjoy the moments where you can take a bit more time off and stuff than you will in the future but do not fall prey to your ego and to your fears and to the programming that was instilled in you, okay? My dear, dear Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, I'm going to ask for a feminine energy that is coming to help you in your life, that you can connect with, that you can talk to in the month of June, a feminine energy for my water signs to connect with. Beautiful. You got Vajra Yogini. And I felt Kuan Yin earlier on, right before starting to talk to you again. Uh, sorry, right before starting to film for water, for the water element. I felt Kuan Yin. So this is the essence of all Buddhas. You see essence, like water and essence, right? I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Everything that's hurt you, everything that scares you, everything that weighs you down, you can release it. You can process it. You can assess, analyze. Then liberate yourself. 
This is very interesting. It's almost like there are going to be some Geminis watching this video. I hear Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So there might be some Geminis who are going to watch this video. And if so, maybe Geminis who have water in their chart or who just felt called, who may be dealing with a Pisces or who just felt called to get a sort of more intuitive feel of how to approach business because that's what the water signs are about. They know everything about you just by looking at you. So you guys definitely need to let more fun into your life because you got ace. You got, sorry, the sun reversed and you got ace of pentacles reversed. You need to let fun into your life or you're actually not going to see that money come in. So if while you're uh, job manifesting, job hunting, job searching, it's all the same thing to me. Starting to look for something is already the first steps towards manifesting. You're saying, hey, I want this. And look, I'm putting in a bit of work to make it happen. Do that in a light energy. Play music, burn incense, smoke a J, relax, um, masturbate before, make a cup of tea, make a nice cup of coffee. You know, do something to make the moment less heavy because you may carry a lot of dread. Yeah, I feel there's a lot of dread that you carry when it comes to what am I going to do? How am I supposed to do it? When am I going to start doing it? Am I ever going to have like the fortune I want? Stuff like that. It's coming. But on your way there, you cannot be miserable, water signs. On your way there, you cannot be just looking at what's in your bank account and define yourself by the number that's in there. Even one day when you'll have a lot in your bank account, you cannot look at that and think that that defines you. You're so much more. You are so much more. Let the unknown in. The wild unknown tarot is what I'm picking from next by Kim Kranz. One of my newer decks. Let's go. Look into what other signs you have in your astrological chart. If you wonder, how do I know that? Your sun sign is the sign that's given to you just with a date and the month that you're born in. Look at that. They fell on my thumb perfectly. That's your sun sign. But then we all have rising moon and then, um, you know, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, uh, Neptune, Uranus. Um, and then there's like where your nodes are, what your Lilith is. All those things matter. If you're looking... To find out how to calculate that, um, Google it, fall on a website where you can enter your date, month, year of birth, and time, and they will tell you what your rising is. And then you can use that information to go get more info and trust that I will be delivering information as we move forward on the various Zodiac, on the various. I will deliver, what? I will be delivering information moving forward on the various Zodiac signs. Never mind. Okay, so now for your cards. You got a lot of X's, but it's like it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Total, this makes 31, so that makes number four. That's interesting. But um, you got five of, sorry, that's 10. You got 10 of wands. So I think that you got nine of wands. You got 10 of wands here too. So you guys really know that 2020 is going to be a year about putting in the work. Um, while you may, probably before this reading, you were afraid and whatever, that little pinch of fear is good. Use it to fuel you because what's coming. No way, guys. You got the world again. The synchronicity with this group. So you water signs may be people who... Um, Notice extreme synchronicities in your lives and take that, take that as signs and cues that you are where you're supposed to be at the right time, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Trust that. Listen to that. Do not doubt it. We're going to be picking an archetype card from the archetype deck by Carolyn Miss. And then I think that we're going to be done for Pisces for the month of June 2020. This was a get in line with your energy reading so that you can go after all those 
career opportunities. Okay, so Pisces, 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 Cancer, Water, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I got that this is for Pisces. So the Pisces who watch this, you need to embrace your princely energy. That is an energy of charm, romance, and an ability to govern. Step into that. Cancers. Oh my God, that's funny because Pisces, I always think of them as like blue, blue fish, and the card's blue, and Cancer's more like orange is gray, and that's the color of the card. It's kind of like um, tawny, whatever. So, <coughs> Father. The Father card. We like saying ochre, no, that's a colored red. The ability to create and sustain life, playing the role of a guide at the heart of a tribal cell. So my Cancer, step into that ability that you have to make home a really beautiful, peaceful, um, themed <laughs> place and make the theme love and balance and uh, sustenance and support and unite. Don't don't set things up around you in a way that makes your spirit collide with the objects that you place around you. And my Scorpios, your card is the Nun card. So, and that's funny because Scorpio black and their outfit is black. Hey, so um, devotion and a complete surrendering to spirit. So my Scorpios, I feel that the Pisces who will listen to this and the Cancers who listen to this have manifestation down in a less egoic way, a more frivolous, childish way, like, I want that. And then they don't think about it and it comes. But my Scorpios, you have been feeling, you guys, as more axed on results. So when you want something and then you work for it and you don't see the results you want, you freak out. I'm seeing 28. So some of you might hit your goals when you're 28. Some of you might have to wait 10 days or 28 days or two to eight days for something to go through. But in the meantime, just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. For real. Because it's only by being that you get where you're going to go. If you get yourself stuck and too stuck in your head, you might even reach destination but not know where the hell you are. Because stress is a killer. And when you live on stress, your brain cannot function as well. So, my water signs, keep on tapping into those intuitive abilities that God gave you with all that fluidity in your chart. Don't forget to look into any extra uh, spiritual information that you think could put you on your path of higher resonance. Feel free to reach out to me. I do do personal readings. You can DM me or email me. Information will be shared with you. You can find me on social media, Facebook and, in, um, and Instagram as Divinely Danica. And you can also find me on YouTube and subscribe to my channel, Divinely Danica, where I put out holistic healing advice as well as general readings quite frequently. And if you pick a cards as well. Lastly, if you're into crystals and gemstones, I do have my own shop and you can visit that at www.bgems.ca, looking it up through the hashtag bgems. It is, um, the company's full name is Bewitching Gems and that is just where I share advice on the natural elements that you can bring into your life to aid and sustain your ascension. I hope this reading was helpful to you. I'm sending you lots and lots of light. Be well, be swell. And if they don't like you, tell them go to hell. Bye. And just in case I didn't say it, while I finish my cleanup, there are going to be readings like these every month moving forward for air, fire, earth, and water to get you grounded and guided towards um, your opportunities and just to get you aligned with what the cosmos needs you to do right now uh, whether it be rest or whether it be push it or whether whatever that's that's where those are all things that you would say to a woman giving birth but i don't know why my brain went there but anyways it's just to say that these readings are going to be happening frequently 
they're going to be happening monthly and that also every month is going to be a reading done on the zodiac sign of that month so for instance there's been a reading already filmed for Gemini so if any of you happen to have Gemini in either your Sun moon rising or Venus in your chart then you can go over and watch that it was quite concise advice and the information um, does resonate in some of the other readings that have happened so you know we're all definitely connected and uh, it's just fun to see it all play out so remain playful my water signs that's, that was the message remain playful and only through then will you tap into the essence of the Buddha that you hold within if you have any questions for me, I look forward to hearing from you. Mwah. Be well.